G'day guys, welcome back. Going again with my little swipe, fire and ice swipe. Last time was the beads. Did you guys see that video? Oh, I was so excited. Uh, swipe with beads. Okay, so this time I'm gonna swipe with the comb. Now, obviously the surface area that's touching the canvas is quite wide. Um, over here, you know, the little dots there, are quite thin so we're going to get a totally different look so, but I've still got paints mixed up so I thought rather than waste them I will do that so same pouring medium as before 60% glue 40% water and I've mixed that one and a half parts pouring medium to one part paint going with the Mott Mart Studio acrylics beautiful thick creamy paints so we've got this is the orange uh, the other one was the phthalo blue. So we've got the cool or ice colors, white, phthalo blue, cerulean blue, turquoise, and then the fire colors, black, red, orange, and yellow. So fire and ice. Right, we're gonna split it again because uh, the other one was split this way and I think they'll look nice you know, together if hanging on the wall. You've got a, a little wall. Be nice to hang it on. Okay, I'll keep a little bit of white. I don't know why I did it like that. I need to turn it anyway. Keep a little bit of white just in case I need to touch up my edges. So I've got two little palette knives, one for the black and one for the white. Now same as the other video, I don't want to see the black line and the white line in the center. I only want to see the white line. But just because that's how I want to do it doesn't mean that's how you have to do it. If you want to see both lines, then by all means, you can do it that way. It's your painting. I just didn't want to see the two lines. Actually, I could just, you know how I had the, the white center in the other one? I could do the same thing, but the black center, hey. So you're still not seeing both lines. You're just actually seeing a center color. But I think I'm gonna just do the comb first. One experiment at a time, we'll use the comb. Um, and then next time I might see if I can swipe with the black and see how that goes. I'm just thinning this out a little bit. It's quite thick there in the middle, pushing it over. Just trying to get a smooth amount there so it's not thick in one area and thin in another. And I haven't gone over my edges here so let's just pop a little bit there enough to go over my edges and then we're done cool bananas all right so that's that done put the white knife away we'll turn it around I'm just using my same pedal pad from last time as you can see waste not want not I did have to mix up a little bit more black though because the black that I used last time was just actually left over from my class on the weekend. My the ladies that did the um, swipes, we all swiped with black. So I had plenty left over, because you know how much you, you use for a swipe, not very much. So there was plenty left over. I'm trying not to knock my paints over. Trying to get it half half as best as I can. It's fluid art, it doesn't have to be exact, but I just try my best. You know, if you're going to do something, you might as well do it to the best of your ability. That's what I tell my kids if you're going to do something, 
put your heart in it, do your best. That's all we can ask. No point doing something if you're only going to do it half-heartedly, is there? Oh, speaking of which, I'm getting really annoyed. Some people that have video channels, they seem just to put up any old thing. You know, I, think, I look at it and I go, oh my gosh, does, you know, that doesn't look as if you're a fluid artist. It looks as if, you know, you're a beginner or a child's done it, but they put it up anyway, just for the sake of getting the views, getting the money. You know, I don't think that's creditable at all. Personally, if you're going to put up work, make it your best. Don't put up something that looks like a two-year-old's done it. All right? Anyway, enough said. Makes me angry. Have some, um, what's the word? Have some pride in your work. Can I? Now, I figured out on the last one, if you put too much colour, you don't see your black background. So let's just try for a little bit less colour, maybe. Because, um, even though I, I dragged with the black and you had a little bit of black on the corner here, it didn't show a lot of black. So maybe cut down on the, the paints just a tad. Still got lots of paint left. I might have to do another one. I didn't mix up a lot of paint. I only did one and a half ounces or 45 grams of paint. Now I need to go a little bit further away from the white this time. Whoops, <laughs> I'm not going straight. Uh, yeah, one and a half ounces of for a medium to one ounce of paint. That was 45 grams to 30 grams. Remember last time my um, blue got dragged that way? Actually, it probably won't happen this time because um, my comb's only thin. Yeah, so I probably didn't need to worry about that too much. Anyway, done now. Um, maybe I should put a little bit more blue on now. There we go. Yeah, because the comb's very thin, obviously, you know. Righto, let's try this. Um, I think I'm just going to go from here and then back that way. Actually, I might have to move it because I'm right-handed. I will do that. Otherwise, I have to stand all the way around here and, and do that. So I'll go with the... I'll turn it around. I'm going to do the, the ice first. Fire and ice. We'll go ice first. So not touching the black. Just going to touch the white. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, look at that. And now I'm gonna have to wipe this off each time. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to wipe it off because otherwise I'm gonna get blue into my white. I'm gonna have to get a damp cloth and actually clean it between uses. Otherwise I'm gonna contaminate my white. Ooh, look at that. That's a totally different look, isn't it? It's like, um, you know, when you do your cake icing and you go through with your, your stick. Have you ever done that? And then you go the opposite way again with your stick. You get those pretty little designs. I do that in the top of my, my trifles in my custard and cream. Okay, so that was that one done. It's not as dramatic as the previous one. Um, so there's a lot of white down here with just little wispy bits in it. So not quite as dramatic. But I just wanted to see what would happen. So now um, I'm going to drag the white over the black again because I don't want to see those black and white lines. Next to each other, I want them to be more blended, like like that. That is what I want, and that is what I will get. <laughs> now 
to leave a little space, equal space, so that it looks as if it's just one continual drag through. So I have got too much white in the middle, haven't I? I did leave a little bit too much, but that's okay. That's our negative space. And because these little, these are so thin, they're really not dragging the paint very far. It's, it's not dragging very far at all. So I could have made my lines a little bit wider maybe of colour, my coloured lines. But it's, you can actually see now, this is your white half, that's your black half. So, yeah, it's really pretty, isn't it? Do you guys like it? And I haven't contaminated my, my white terribly much. Tiny little area just there where it's... I won't worry about it too much. I'll probably make it worse. All right. Let me get you down for a close-up. I'm not going to get the other one out because it's sitting over there on the shelf and it's wet. And if I put it over the top of this one, it's probably going to drip into it and I'll have a big black blob in my white there. So it's not worth it. Um, right off. So what do you think? It's pretty, huh? It's really unusual. Do you like so much of the white and the black on the edges or is that a bit too much? I probably need to do something that's, I mean the, co the comb was good. You now I had a lot of control over the amount of pressure I was applying on the comb. Um, but just because the teeth of the comb aren't very wide, it's not pulling much paint down at all. Oh, look at that. That yellow and the orange against the black. That is just to die for. Those colours. Look at that. Wow. And then we've got the same over here on the cool colours. Look at that. That is just amazing. Why won't you focus? <clears throat> it doesn't know what to focus on. It's having trouble. It says, what do I look at? There's too much going on. I don't know what to look at and focus on. Now there, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I didn't probably wash my comb off properly. So I've got a little bit of black into the white there. But doesn't that look like um, piano keyboard notes, keys, I should say so pretty I just love that that red and see how they get the black it's not rounded as much they're more square I wonder why I don't know the beads were more oh yeah when I did the beads the top areas there were more rounded this one's more square but then you've got that rounded there and that rounded there Oh, it's just so pretty. This is so much fun. <laughs> I won't bore you with too much, too many of these, okay? Like, once you've done them, that's it. You've done them and you move on. But um, I'll probably have another little go with the beads, maybe some different colours and different designs because they are so much fun. All right, I'll leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Have a go. It's fun. All right, I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.